Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Libra please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Libra and thank you. Okay, we've got the Hierophant card of Taurus. So I'm going to get a clarifier with that Libra. Can we clarify the Hierophant please? Thank you. Your cards are coming out really quickly. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, message for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Librans. 25th to the 31st of January, 2021, please. Okay, the card has turned over. We have Truth. It's interesting because the Ace of Swords is Truth as well. Okay. And what do we have for Libra, please, Angels? What is the message for Libra? for the week. Thank you. It's interesting. We have career transition. Archangel Shamuel, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is... Uh, so I'm going to pull three cards this week. First card is your challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards, Libra, and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for our lovely Librans, please? Message for Libra. So I have the four of coins, that's your challenge. Ten of cups is advice from spirit and the three of wands is your outcome. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for our lovely Librans, please. Message for our lovely Librans, thank you. So we have the Magician in the challenge position as well with the Four of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups is clarified with the Fool. And the Queen of Pentacles, interesting, clarifies the Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Cups, very nice Libra indeed. So we have the card of Taurus essentially, um, which is the Hierophant. So it can talk about spiritual faith, taking advice from a holy person as well. This can represent that too. Taurus is a card of stability, security, safety. Um, and it feels in this situation, this, I mean, the Ace of Swords is the sword of truth, something becoming clear. It is the breakthrough energy. Um, and it feels for some of you that there is some kind of breakthrough coming. Uh, it feels to him getting this energy of half faith, half faith, you are being guided. Remember, the Hierophant is the holy person, God, the universe, the divine. The physical representation of that on earth is generally a holy person. Um, and, and this is a, uh, the Ace of Swords is the breakthrough, the new beginning. And it's air energy, which is your energy, Libra. So it is a powerful energy for you because it feels like the beginning of a new power phase for you as well. Um, so it definitely feels in this instance you will get some clarity, some breakthrough on something happening this week. 
uh, that will be some kind of like breakthrough it feels to do with career career money because this card has come out so for some of you very specifically to do with money career finances there's a blessed career change so very very nice energy and the energy of have faith you're being watched over remember the ace of swords is given to you by god the divine the universe and it's generally awarded, it's a warrior sword, it's generally awarded after you've climbed a lot of mountains, after you've overcome a lot of challenge, you know, there is finally the blue sky, the breakthrough, the clouds part, and all of a sudden, there is the opening, you know, that you've been waiting for. There is something about your truth, and I'm feeling this is linked with the magician, so I will go into this in more detail. I mean, you know, this situation could have been you've discovered truth about somebody or, you know, some truth has come to light here. It doesn't, it feels in this energy, it's more about you standing in your truth. So, because it's, 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 it's linked with some kind of breakthrough from the effort, the actions that you've been taking. So... The Four of Pentacles is a card of being careful with money. It's a card of being very careful with money, being very cautious. Because for some of you, you may have been affected in terms of money, career, finances. And the Magician is, it feels like this is the energy of your truth. The Magician asks us to stand in our own power to believe in our own capability, to manifest something, to bring change to a situation. Alchemical change. Change base metal to gold, he is the alchemist. And change a negative situation to positive, an idea to reality. For some of you, the time is now. That is what the magician says. The time is now for you to change, and it feels change your fortune. And I kind of get this energy here, Libra, that it's something that not just you have experienced, but you, your family, your home. So it's a very beautiful energy. The message with the magician, especially in the challenge position, is now is the time to tap into that magic. Generally, and it's about your talents, experience, knowledge, mental acuity, to really bring transformation along with blessings from the universe. It's a blessed career change. It's blessed by the universe. So there's definitely this kind of energy of now is the time to bring transformation to your life. Can also be to do with communication as well for some of you, some communication coming in. The magician is an energy of, in the challenge position, it's an energy of you're not tapping into it. Uh, it's an energy of untapped magic to bring transformation to your situation. So for some of you, this is about know your truth. And that's what I was saying to you. Know what you're really capable of to bring change to your situation. Because the fool is a new chapter and it's a positive new chapter. It's a, it, the fool carries little baggage. So whatever baggage you've been carrying here, it feels like this has been released because a new door, a new chapter is opening for you. And it is. We have the Ace of Swords here. And it not just affects you, but it affects you, your family, people dear to you, your home. You know, this is the rainbow of blessings, the Ten of Cups elation, contentment, satisfaction, goal achievement, call it what you will. The Fool is just such a wonderful energy of positivity and optimism. And it feels like freeing yourself from a situation where you've had to be careful, you know, where you've had to watch money. So it definitely feels for some of you a new beginning is opening up. Very beautiful energy indeed. And the message is, something good is coming your way. By your actions, by taking action, that magician energy is so important. Uh, you know, there is progress. There is expansion. There is the beginnings of growth here. You are manifesting a new path for yourself. And it is the first signs of success that you can see coming with that three of wands. So something good is coming your way, which is beautiful. And it's in the form, and I feel it's linked with a person, the Queen of Pentacles. 
Queen of Pentacles is, is a card of material success, abundance. She can represent male or female energy, somebody offering you an opportunity. Can be in jobs, can be to do with, I mean, it could be to do with contracts, it could be to do with uh, finances, you know, I mean, call it what you will. But something good is coming your way. Now, if you are the Queen of Pentacles, if it's your energy, she can be uh, somebody who understands how to provide for herself, her family, you know. So it definitely feels for some of you that there is progress in providing some kind of change in career, money, finances, call it what you will, that will allow you to, that will bring abundance to you, that will allow you to provide for yourself. It can be a working parent as well, energy. Uh, but it's, it's a card of protection, protecting what's yours. And definitely this energy of growth and abundance here. So it feels very beautiful indeed. Ending with the Nine of Cups. So I kind of feel in this sense, there could be somebody of influence who's offering you something this week or who is part of your success path. Um, or you bringing the turn of events around here. And there's definitely an energy of something good is coming your way. It's a wish coming true. The Nine of Cups is a card of re reasons to be thankful. It's a card of celebration as well. Um, and it's celebration with other people who mean something to you in your life. So it definitely feels in this kind of energy you're being given the gift, you're being given the opportunity, you're being given the abundance that you've been looking for. It definitely feels there is some kind of breakthrough happening this week. The clouds of confusion, of lack of clarity are parting and you're beginning to see the blue sky. So I love the energy here. There's definitely something good coming your way. Feels very beautiful, Libra. So I'm going to pull a final card. And the Nine of Cups, remember, is happiness. It's real happiness, contentment, joy. So what do we have for Libra, please, as a final message? Interesting. Yeah, we have Eagle Ancestral Healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. You'll be watched over here. You're being watched over. And we have rabbit sensitive soul. Strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. There will be an opportunity to cut cords because for some of you, that fool is an energy of liberation from whatever has, you know, held you in that kind of boundary. You know, sometimes that, you know, Capricorn energy is, you know, the boundaries, the restraints, feeling the pressure. Um, it feels that you're liberating from that. So very, very beautiful energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.